Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is out of his depth. The former Manchester United defender has said this. Now Solskjaer is under pressure because we've only won two of our last six games in all competitions. The vast majority of Manchester United fans are demanding Oli out. Maybe there's still some Man United fans that are Oli in. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's future as manager could depend on the next 10 games. You know, we have got very tough games coming up. Man United are still fully committed to Solskjaer despite a topsy-turvy start to the season. Now Solskjaer recently received strong backing from Man United's football director. John Murtoff said we need to keep control and he says we will not deviate from the plan. You know, John Murtough said that Solskjaer is demanding more time. John Murtough is our director of football and I revert back to what I've said before. Man United made the right decision getting a director of football in because I did mention that's one of the structural changes we needed at the club. Uh, Darren Fletcher back Solskjaer in this year's summer transfer window. Ed Woodward as back Solskjaer. Woodward said a while ago that he'd back Solskjaer and he assured that Solskjaer's job was safe even when we was enduring them bad periods. Woodward is leaving Manchester United. It got announced he was leaving back in April when that European Super League came into the equation. Woodward has had a 16-year association with the club and the Glazers also back Solskjaer in the summer transfer window but only because they'd been persuaded to. Uh, not so long ago it says the Glazers are selling 8% of Manchester United and the shares worth £137 million. It recently said the Glazers were unhappy with Solskjaer because of three players. Uh, the Glazers have been at Manchester United for 16 years. They purchased the club for £500 million back in 2005. The reason the Glazers have been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time is because they've put Man United in so much debt. And Man United enjoyed a very good summer transfer window. You know, we made four signings. Obviously, we brought Tom Eaton in on a free from Villa. Brought Jadon Sancho in from Dortmund, brought Rafael Varane in from Real Madrid and we re-signed Cristiano Ronaldo after 12 years. We spent £141 million in the summer transfer window. How much more time will Solskjaer get? I think Solskjaer will get until the end of this season. You know, Solskjaer has to win a trophy at Manchester United, I'd say, this season to save his job. Oli's not yet won a trophy as Man United manager. We haven't won a trophy since 2017. That's nowhere near good enough to our standards. And earlier on this season, Solskjaer did mention that we must leave a legacy of silverware. We know Solskjaer's ambition for this season, and that's to win the Premier League. We haven't won the Premier League since 2013, that's eight years ago now and me and the vast majority of Man United fans are very sceptical that we're going to win the Premier League or anything under Ole. But we should be winning the Premier League because we've got a title winning squad. Our squad is worth around £805 million. it's like the third most expensive squad in world football. And even earlier on this season, Solskjaer told his current Man United squad 
it's better than the 1999 treble winning team that Ollie was part of. You know, if Man United do dis decide to eventually sack Solskjaer, you know, who will come in to replace him? Obviously, there's some Man United fans that want Antonio Conte in. And there's obviously some United fans that are demanding Zidane in. But to be honest with you, it wouldn't really solve a great deal if we did decide to sack Solskjaer, because I revert back to what I've said before, when results are, aren't going our way and when we've been inconsistent when, and when we're inconsistent, not all of the blame stems from Ole. You know, there's obviously certain players at Man United that have to take responsibility. You know, there's still some players at Man United that are not good enough to represent the club. Um, there's a lot of United fans, though, that have got strong reservations about Solskjaer's decision-making. You know, analysing the vast majority of the games Solskjaer's managed at Man United is being tactically naive. And Solskjaer hasn't got a proven pedigree as a player. That's also a concern. Uh, this season is Solskjaer's third full season as Man United manager. And I did mention at the start of this season that this season was going to be massive for Solskjaer because he's got big expectations to exceed. In the summer, Solskjaer signed a new contract with the club until 2024. There's an option of a further year. And we made a mistake giving him that contract because I can assure he won't see it out. Solskjaer has been in charge of Manchester United for almost three years now. And reflecting now on his being at the football club, he has gained some managerial experience and he's learnt a few different things on the job. But there's still plenty of things he's got to learn because he's still a young coach. Solskjaer's managed over 150 games as Man United manager in all competitions. I revert back to what I've said on a lot of my other videos though. I am surprised Solskjaer's still Man United manager, because but the reason he is is because he's a club legend. That's what's basically saved his job. Solskjaer enjoyed eleven years as a player for Man United. He flourished under Alex Ferguson's guidance. Solskjaer won a lot of trophies as a player for Man United, so he had the pedigree as a player. Just hasn't got it as a manager. You know, Solskjaer got appointed in in December 2018 to replace Mourinho. He's been permanent Manchester United manager since March 2019. The reason we're giving the job permanently back in March 2019 was reflecting how well he did as the interim manager. But all he knew when he'd taken over at Man United it was going to be a massive job, despite him knowing the club through thick and thin. You know, Ollie's managing one of the biggest clubs in the world, if not the biggest. And he knew he had a lot to do when he came in as well. Like I said before, though, Solskjaer's done well in certain aspects. You've got to say he's done a good job to say the current squad he was left with when he got appointed in as Man United manager. I didn't expect him to do as well as he has done, so in that aspect, I am shocked. You know, we've spent £441 million under the Solskjaer era. Solskjaer has signed 14 players, hasn't he? He's also got rid of a lot of players since he's come in. You know, he's got rid of players permanently. He's also loaned quite a few players out. And like I've said to you, no, progress has been made under Ole because he's got us to semi-finals, got us to an FA Cup quarter-final, got us to the Europa League final last season. That was his first major final as Man United manager, but unfortunately we didn't win it. So there you go. And got us second place finish last season. And in his, third, in his first full season, he got us a third place finish. And I also like the way Solskjaer develops the youth. You know, despite me criticising him a lot, I think he is our best manager since Ferguson. He's our fourth permanent manager since Ferguson. You know, Solskjaer's obviously not going to replicate what Ferguson did 
at Man United, you know, no manager's going to replicate what Ferguson did, not in my lifetime anyway, you know, Ferguson enjoyed, what, a 27-year tenure at Man United, so he was a very long-serving manager, Ferguson won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles, so reflecting on that, Ferguson brought success. But Ferg didn't settle in straight away because he didn't win out in his first four years at Man United. Uh, the only mistake Ferguson made is recommending David Moyes in uh, when he retired. But the reason he did that at that time is because they're both Scottish and plus they had a lot of time for each other. Um, but we haven't been the same since Ferguson retired and a lot of United fans predict predicted it was going to go wrong when he retired. Since Ferguson we sat Moyes. After 10 months, we finished 7th under the David Moyes era. That's the lowest we've finished in the Premier League era. We sacked Van Gaal after two years, despite him winning the FA Cup. And we sacked Jose Mourinho after like two and a half, three years. Mourinho enjoyed one good season at Man United because he won three trophies in his first full season. Plus, he also got us a second place finish. So, there you go. Now, earlier on today, um, I give you the news on Anthony Martial. Now, Newcastle have made an inquiry over Martial. Newcastle have made formal contact with Martial's representatives. Newcastle are planning to spend big as their takeover by the Sergio Arabians was completed. Man United will demand close to the 54 million they originally paid for Martial back in 2015. Uh, Newcastle also won <coughs> Bailly and Jesse Lingard. They've also been interested in Van der Beek. Uh, there's been quite a lot of clubs though in for Anthony Martial. Um, it said a few weeks ago that Barcelona are considering making a move next year. Um, RCL's been a long-term target for Tottenham. Um, Atletico Madrid winning for Martial last summer. Don't forget Martial rejected the chance to join Leon on loan on deadline day. And before the start of this season, it said Inter Milan wanted Martial to replace Romelu Lukaku because Lukaku went back to Chelsea. Well, before the start of this season, it said Solskjaer refuses to sell Martial as he remains part of his plans. Solskjaer seems to have a lot of trustworthy in Martial, though. Uh, Solskjaer was the one that gave him that number nine shirt. But anyway, a few weeks ago, it said Man United are ready to sell Anthony Martial. Martial played against Everton last weekend. Surprisingly, put a good performance out, got his name on the score sheet. That was his first goal for Man United since February. Uh, Martial also played against West Ham in the Cup. Um, he struggled to make an impact in that one. Martial's been at Man United for six years, hasn't he? He's got three years left on his contract. He scored like 79 goals for us in all competitions. I rec the best season I recall Martial having was his debut season under Van Gaal. And last season Martial was out with an knee injury for a while.
Uh, recently, I gave you the breaking news on Paul Pogba. Uh, Paul Pogba refuses to rule out a Juventus return after France stunned Belgium. Uh, Paul Pogba did admit that he always speaks to his ex-Juventus teammates. Well, earlier on this season, Paul Pogba's agent, Mino Riola, suggested that Paul Pogba could return to Juventus from Man United on a free next summer because Mino Riola did say that cheering is still in Paul Pogba's heart. Now, earlier on this week, he said Paul Pogba wants to stay at Manchester United and he wants to sign a new £400,000 a week contract that would make him one of the best paid players at the club Pogba receives like 290 grand a week at the moment Pogba's current contract at Man United expires next summer before the start of this season Pogba rejected a new Man United contract and earlier on this season it said Pogba's very likely to leave Man United on a free next summer I hope Paul Pogba stays, you know, Pogba's enjoyed a very good start to the Premier League season. Paul Pogba's already got seven assists so far in the league. Uh, Pogba produced good performances for Man United in the last couple of months of last season. But at one point last season, he was out of a fight injury for a while and he sustained a couple of ankle injuries at Man United. Well, it said uh, not so long ago, Man United want Paul Pogba's future to be sorted by Christmas. You know, we set the Paul Pogba deadline. This season is Pogba's sixth season at Man United since he rejoined. He's won three trophies at the club so far. Pogba's our most expensive signing at the moment because we paid £89 million for him. We had Pogba when he was a lot younger under the Ferguson era, but had to let him go due to limited appearances. Um, obviously, yesterday night, I gave you the news on Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo got named Premier League Player of the Month for September. Uh, Ronaldo's obviously got three goals in the Premier League so far since he re-signed for us and he's got five goals in all competitions. Don't forget, before the international break, Ronaldo was annoyed with Solskjaer after Man United's 1-1 draw with Everton. You know, Ronaldo stormed down the tunnel. Solskjaer got criticised for not starting Ronaldo against Everton, but Solskjaer said he had no regrets over not starting Ronaldo. I also can't understand why he didn't start Popper against Everton. Ronaldo, though, has already said that he wants to retire at Man United and then coach Cristiano Jr. in the Red Devils youth team. Uh, prior to the game against Villa, Solskjaer said he believes Ronaldo can keep playing for Man United into his 40s. Ronaldo's 36 at the moment. and um, Earlier on this season, Ronaldo hinted that he's looking to stay at Man United beyond his current contract. You know, Ronaldo's under contract with Man United till 2023. There's an option of a further year. Ronaldo receives £480,000 a week, so he's the highest earner at Man United. Ronaldo wears the number seven shirt, and we got Ronaldo for nineteen point eight million with add-ons included. When Ronaldo re-signed, um, he said to his Man United teammates that he wants the Premier League this season. Prior to the Young Boys game, Ronaldo says we can win the Champions League. Uh, don't forget, Ronaldo is already the all-time record scorer in the Champions League. And earlier on this season, Ronaldo became the all-time international top scorer with two late goals against Ireland. But Ronaldo has won 32 major trophies in his playing career, including five Ballon d'Ors. 
Um, Man United are going to definitely sell players next year. A few weeks ago, it said Solskjaer is willing to sell up to seven players in January. So there's a good chance we're going to offload Martial, like I've said. Um, I think Cavani will go next year. I can't say I want Cavani to leave, though, because Cavani has made an impact since he's come in. Uh, Cavani played against Everton, surprisingly. He had a very good chance from a downward header, but produced a good save from Jordan Pickford. Uh, Cavani was out with injury earlier on this season. Cavani's got under a year left on his contract. It was back in May Cavani signed that one-year contract extension. Cavani receives over two hundred grand a week. Uh, now, Real Madrid want Cavani on loan in January. Uh, Barcelona tried to get Cavani on deadline day in the summer transfer window, but they didn't get him. I think Barcelona will reignite their interest in January. Uh, Juan Mata, there's a good chance he's going to leave next year. Juan Mata's contract at Man United expires next summer. Earlier on this year, Juan Mata signed a one-year contract extension. Can't really understand why we give Juan Mata that. Juan Mata has lost that yard of pace. And he's ageing up. Plus, he doesn't get in our team. But despite that, Juan Mata's had a good career at Man United. He's been with us seven and a half years now, so he's been a long-serving player. We got one Mata back in 2014 from Chelsea for 40 million, and the first part of last season he rejected an 18 million a year contract offered to play in Sergio Arabia. Donny van der Beek's going to leave next year. Um, Fabrizio Romano's already said that van der Beek is planning to leave the club in January. Uh, revert back to what I said earlier, you know, Newcastle are interested in him. Everton are also in for him. Everton remain interested in van der Beek. That's what Sky Sports said not so long ago. Everton were close to signing Donny van der Beek on loan, but Solskjaer rejected van der Beek's exit. Many other clubs have been in for him. Uh, Donny van der Beek's agent is said to be working hard on finding a new club for his client. Not so long ago, van der Beek was furious with Solskjaer as he was left on the bench in Man United's win over Villarreal. Uh, van der Beek was spotted for him chewing gum in the dugout. Uh, van der Beek, though, wants to try to force a January transfer away from Man United following his Villarreal meltdown. And I've said, haven't I, you know, Solskjaer has to start Van der Beek, especially in the Premier League. You know, Van der Beek played no part against Everton. He played no part against Villarreal. He played the full 90 minutes against West Ham in the Cup and what a performance he put out. He also started against Young Boys in the Champions League a few weeks ago, but Solskjaer taken Van der Beek off at half-time in that game and I heavily criticised Solskjaer for that because Van der Beek was our best player in the first half of that game. And um, earlier on this season, Van der Beek told Solskjaer his best position. He reckons he'd be best served operating as a number six or as a number eight. And Van der Beek spoke about his Man United future in an exclusive interview with Ferdinand. This season is Van der Beek's second full season at Man United. I haven't really had much of a perception on him at Man United because he hasn't had enough game time, like I've said, but he is a good player. We got Van der Beek for £40 million with add-ons included. He's got a contract with Man United till 2025 and he's versatile. He can play in three different roles. Uh, there's a very good chance that Lingard will leave next year. Um, I also think Telez will leave next year because Telez doesn't really get in the team. Telez only played recently because Luke Shaw had a minor injury and he had illness. Telez played against Villarreal, he scored a very good volley. 
played well and he also played against West Ham in the Cup and he was good against West Ham in the Cup apart from him being the culprit for West Ham's goal because Ryan Fredericks nutmegged him far too easily. The reason we brought to Les in was to provide competition for Shaw. Got to Les for £15.4 million. To Les was out of injury earlier on this season. Diego De Lot, I think he'll leave next year. De Lot is our backup right back to Anwan Basaka. De Lot played against Villarreal. The only reason is because Anwan Basaka wasn't available because he was suspended. De Lot was poor against Villarreal. De uh, Lot played against West Ham in the Cup. I thought he was good in that one. Last season, De Lot had a loan spell with AC Milan and reflecting on that, he gained some experience. We got De Lot from Porto for £19 million. We got him three years ago. De Lot's got a contract with Man United till 2023. Eric Bailly could be leaving next year as well. And uh, Phil Jones, he's another one I think he'll leave. I also want Fred to leave next year because Fred isn't good enough to represent the club. We overpaid for Fred. We got him for £50 million from Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, I think Ahmad Diallo will be leaving next year as well. Uh, Ahmad Diallo has just come back from injury. So there you go. Uh, I think the only injury we've got now is Harry Maguire. Um, he's out for a few weeks. Uh, Solskjaer confirmed that not so long ago. That's the only reason Lindelof's been playing recently because Maguire is out. Um, that's it. Uh, Rashford has returned from injury, which is good news from Man United perspective. You know, Rashford was out with a shoulder injury for a while. Don't forget, he had to have surgery on his shoulder, did Rashford. Rashford did score twice in the behind closed doors friendly game against Blackburn not so long ago. It's good that Rashford's back now, though, because we'll look much better. Like I've said to you before, Rashford's more effective on the left. And Luke Shaw's just come back from a minor injury. You know, Telez, uh he's obviously back from injury. He was injured earlier on this season. You know, Jones is back. Um, I think he's been back a while now. Jones was out of an knee injury for a while. Uh, Martial, I think, recently sustained a knock, but I don't think that's too severe. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you today. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless you all again very, very soon.